Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Erin's Training Journal. Um, this is kind of a special one because I rode two horses today, which for me is kind of a big deal because I'm still very scared of riding other horses. Um, I just don't feel capable of handling other horses, like I don't have the skill to do it anymore. Um, and, and there's this weird fear um, that's just not logical and I know it's not logical but it's it's still there. So I rode a wonderful old man named Wyatt today. Um, very patient with what what I was doing and I actually learned a fair amount in the in the little bit of riding that I did with the outside rein and and keeping him in frame and using my legs and that kind of thing. So it started off I was very edgy but you know what I, I felt better about it um, after I rode for a little bit and I'm actually looking forward to my next ride on him. Um, on my next ride, I'm going to try to go a little bit larger, going to try to go over poles, using my leg a bit more so I'm not afraid of him taking off on me. But, because um, I, I don't think he would, but, you know, fear is fear. So, but that, that went really well and it was something that was really needed and I think I'm really going to love this guy. So that was pretty cool. Now on to Athena. Um, when I first got on Athena, I was riding with another girl in a lesson and I couldn't get Athena to focus, couldn't get her to sit on her on her rear end and um, she just wasn't behaving until after I the lesson was over and I was able to kind of get Athena in line a bit more. Um, I still don't like how harsh I have to be with my hands to get her the way that I want her to be but I do what I gotta do to keep her going. The moment that she is soft to me I do try to soften so it's not always a, a fight. But what we did was we worked on exercise 29 on the 101 dressage exercises. Um, this is shoulder in to counter shoulder in. Um, and we worked on this a fair amount um, to, to try to get what I wanted from her. Um, benefits. When it's done correctly, this exercise will make your horse very supple and responsive. He should wrap himself around your bending leg as it alternates. Now, I probably should do this a little bit more because my bending leg, I wasn't using the legs as much as I should. I was focusing too much on the reins. Okay, so shoulder in to counter shoulder in. How do I ride, re, bleh, bleh. How do I ride this? Proceed in a sitting trot on the inside track. On the long side, ride three strides of shoulder in. Immediately change your bend and ride three strides of shoulder out. Continue to alternate three strides of shoulder in with three strides of shoulder out as you move around the whole track. Repeat this several times in each direction. Keep in mind your horse must be confirmed in shoulder in in this exercise. Also make sure that he is properly warmed up. If it is too difficult at a trot, practice at a walk until you get the handle of it. To make it easier for at first, begin with just the slight angle of shoulder in, making sure your horse doesn't swing his haunches from side to side as you progress. Increase your angle to a four track movement. This will take a while to perfect. Strive to maintain a steady rhythm throughout the exercise. Above all, maintain your line of travel straight up the inside track. So the issue that I'm having is she's tilting her whole body to that side and then to that side. Um, so that is something that we're going to need to work on. I think I will do this exercise one more time um, now that I've read it through and read it out loud because I don't think she's as straight as I like to see her and I think I'm overbending her at the neck when I should just be pushing the shoulders in or out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this exercise one more time and then we'll go from there. But um, thanks so much for listening to me guys and for the next exercise I will read that um, again and we'll, we'll, we'll just go from there. Thanks a lot.